Please, I, uh, I want to know the dose of uh, chloral hydrate uh, in units. Oh, yeah, the dose is, uh, you should start with, uh, again, you should provide the pharmacist with a good flat dose, but um, the best would start with 25 milligram per kg per dose, and you can give it Q4 to 6 uh, um, hours, and it's very good to give it as a PRN. Um, Sometimes uh, I reach up to 35 milligram per kg per dose, but the good starting dose is 25, and you can give it up to uh, four uh, every four hours, but I, I usually leave uh, that to the nurse and I give it as a PRN. Now the question is, what is the meaning uh, of keeping the trigger below the uh, patient rate? So if you're setting the rate, you get, let's say you're setting the rate in the ventilator to 30, but you're looking at the machine and the machine will count the mandatory, the assisted and spontaneous is 60. That's mean the patient is breathing 30 above the ventilator. That's mean the patient is triggering. The question is, asthma and poisoning, we will talk about special scenario next talk. There's no time for that. So we'll talk about scenarios and we'll change the setting according to this area. We'll talk about asthma, bronchitis, asthma, bronchitis. poisoning. How many times between each steps in weaning period? Uh, it's hard to know. Um, in acute baby, um, it's hard to know, but I would see not less than one hour. But if you have CO2 of 25, you need to act quickly because you need to wean quickly because less than 30 is not good for the brain, can cause IVH, can cause encephalopathy. If your CO2 is 100, you need to move very quickly. But if your CO2 and gas is within normal limit, then you need to expand that movement. So steps can be every 15 minutes to every 24 hours. Uh, the question is, the rate is wide range, 30 to 60, which is the best 30, which is considered when we use 60? Okay. Okay. Now in premature babies, uh, less than 30, I start with 60. If I use RSI, um, and RSI mean rapid sequence intubation. I use rate 60 for one hour. Oh, then I, um, um, uh, sorry for that. Uh, I use rate one hour, then I drop it um, to 40 after one hour. So I call it, we call it in our unit RSI setting. Um, uh, most of the babies uh, do very well uh, with a rate of uh, 30 to 40. Um, however, babies like 24 weaker, 23 weaker, they need up to 60. Uh, please mute your mic. I don't know why it's a problem to you mute the mic. Um, yeah, so um, RDS, meconium, apnea, it all depends. It all depends on, uh, but usually in, in babies 25, we use an apneas. Um, usually you need low rate. If your lung is healthy and you have only apnea problem, obstructive apnea, then your rate usually low, like 30 or right. Meconium aspiration, it depends on the CO2. If your CO2 is high, then probably you need high rate. RDS, again, depend you gave um, surfactant or not, then usually in RDS, your rate is high. In weaning period, the weaning you start with FI2, then PEEP, then rate. If you're using pressure control, you, you win the PIP. If you're using pressure control with volume guarantee, you don't need to win the PIP, you win the VG. If you're using volume control, you need to win only the, your, your tidal volume. Any more questions? Yes, please. Okay, ask. Uh, good um, evening. <laughs> good Sorry. evening. Go yes. ahead. Uh, about the trigger. Okay. A trigger, uh, SIMV and uh, controlled ventilation. Both okay. of them are a patient triggered ventilation. No, that right? no, that's not right. SIMV, SIMV. SIMV, you said M, mandatory. No, right? no, SIMV. Yeah, S I S I M I V. Yeah, yes. S, S, just listen, listen, let me keep them. You're saying yes. S I M. M Mandatory. Yes. Yes. So it's not patient trigger. Not patient trigger. No, but it's no. synchronized with yes. the patient. So the machine will not give 
So in SINV, you will see two breaths, spontaneous and mandatory. mandatory. Yes. And the S, when there is S, we always will be synchronized. If there is no S, there will be asynchrony. So when yes. you have no S and you have asynchrony, you have two options, go to SIMV or give sedation. So yes. SIMV means the machine mm. will give only the mandatory, any pay. So if you set the rate to 30, the machine will give 30. If the yes. patient breathes 60, the 30 will be only spontaneous. SIMV. Controlled okay. mechanical ventilation. You will not yes. see assisted. You will not see spontaneous. You will see only mandatory. SIMV mandatory, will see mandatory and spontaneous. While in yes. assisted control, you will see. You will never see spontaneous. You will see yes. mandatory and you will see assisted. Okay. While in Patient PSV, correct. PSV, you will not see mm. spontaneous you will not see mandatory unless you put pack up rate. So if there is no pack up rate on PSV, then you don't see spontaneous, you don't see mandatory, you see only the assisted because the machine will give pressure and the ventilator will. Sometimes you see mandatory in PSV if you put a pack up rate. Yes. What is the trigger? Trigger is two types. Trigger is no. when... No, okay, okay. Uh, tr trigger is two in types. SIMV, in SIMV, what is the trigger? You can have two types of trigger in SIMV, whatever you like. Trigger has nothing to do time. with the mode. Either time or flow trigger. Yeah, if the patient is good, yes. if the patient is good, you use a flow. If the flow. patient is sick or sedated or paralyzed or not in mm. or long, you use time. Time. But trigger is uh, depend upon the machine used, not... The trigger is yes. for the yes. mandatory. The trigger is for the mandatory breath. The machine give, not not the, we. The trigger, yes. the trigger is for the mandatory breath and for the assisted breath. The trigger is the mandatory. Yes. So, but so we cannot control it. it. No, we can control. Can, it. And by by what? Well, if if let me finish, mandatory you controlled by time. Yes. Uh, I, you I, mean I, time I, of inspiration. Or respiratory rate. Uh, if you, uh, if you, see, there are two parameters in time: in respiratory mm. rate, in respiratory yes. time, and IE yes. ratio. If you set yes. two, you get the third one. That's mandatory. Yes. So you already set the trigger for mandatory. For the okay. spontaneous, like for the assisted, mm. you assist mm. either time, yes, or flow. Uh huh. Okay. You mean that uh, Surah, we Surah, can Surah, control? Surah, Surah, yes. Surah, 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 there is other questions. I cannot just keep discussing. But just, just this, that. Okay. You yes. mean that we, the trigger can, can be we controlled? Can meet, we can meet me and you and do it privately if you want. Okay. But I have to answer okay. other people. Okay. okay. Uh, we can okay. meet with you privately and answer all your questions. Okay. okay. Thank so you. So we can answer other questions regarding uh, two bronchitis obliterance. Why recommended high frequency in such cases? Oh, the high frequency is recommended in every case. If you use a pressure higher than using pre more than 10 and your MAP is more than 12 and your FI2 is you're not achieving whatever the process, whether it's bronchitis obliterans or RDS, you need to switch to high frequency. So high frequency is not depend on the disease process. It depends on the requirement and the measured parameter. If you're using a good PIP, good VG, good PIP, and you need 100% of high oxygen, then probably you need high frequency. And if, if, if you use inhaled nitric oxide and use surfactant and still you need high, you need high frequency. So the high frequency does not depend on the disease process. It depends on how much setting you are providing to, and you're yet not achieving your goal. So the other question, in weaning period, can I start decreasing the FI2 to 40% then start, yes, that's, you have to have your FI2 down to less than 40%, but it's better to be room air before you wean. If, like, if you're using low P, like let's say P of eight, I would go to, two. but if I'm using P of 12, when I reach FI2 of 40, I'm gonna start to decrease the P. So it depends whether your P is more than 10 or lower than 10. If it's less than 10, then I would go to room air before I start to win less than 10. If I am above 10, when I reach 40, I start to win. So it really depends. The question is, please, 
we want another lecture with more details and special. Yeah, yeah. The next will be asthma, bronchiolitis, uh, RDS, and meconium aspiration. We can have one, two, three, depend on that because I don't want to make it very long. Um, drowning, yes, pulmonary edema, drowning, uh, burn, increase in tracheal pressure. We can talk about each scenario and how to ventilate. So probably next time I'll talk about asthma and bronchiolitis ventilation. Um, and I hope that, and, and anybody of you want to meet with me privately to discuss more, I'm happy to do that. Uh, he can put his camera on his ventilator and discuss his patient. Do a PIP 20 to 30 uh, value depend on the disease process or uh, depend on the gestation, both. So usually if you are less than 25 weeks, you're, you're in lower 20s. Even if you are between 25 to 30, you are in a mid 20s. If usually if you are more than uh, 30, usually and you are in high 20s. And it's disease process, Ross. Assuming you are not using VG. So I always advise you to use VG with your PIP. Don't depend on PIP. PIP, you can cause, uh, in pressure control, you can cause volume trauma because your tidal volume will be variable. So always when you use a PIP, try to add VG. The meeting is already recorded and I will post it, but I will divide it to pre during the talk and the questions because it will be too long. We can talk about high frequency. There are two types, high frequency jet, high frequency oscillator. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I can record it. I will record it and post it. Yeah, we can talk about high frequency at some point. In cases of a pneumothorax, which parameter should be Koch adjustment in, in unilater, oh, unilateral and bilateral? Uh, well, you need to drop your PEEP. Uh, it's better to go to high frequency if you have pneumothorax. You need to decrease your PIP and you need to decrease your VG. You need a chest tube if it's big enough. Um, so, uh, um, yeah, you need a chest tube, you need to adjust your PIP, your PIB, and your VG if you have a pneumothorax. If there is no more question, I'm going to conclude and I'm going to record it in three pieces, pre, during, and post. Okay? Well, thank you very much for everybody and God you bless all. Ramadan Karim. Bye-bye.